Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today, giving you a quick little video today of something I never really showed before. I figured I'd show it now. Now, why not? Uh, this is my little 3x3x3 3D printer. Mainly just proof of concept, just to show how just how simple a 3D printer can be, if you guys are interested in trying to make your own, maybe bigger ones or such. Uh, so basically how it works is we have our little print row here. And this thing will go through our cube, which I'll just build out of wood here. Uh, oop, out of wood here, just to do a big, brief, quick explanation. And so, basically, what this thing will do is this thing will print a row out, say, wool, wool, glass, like that. Press it up. Once we get three rows, it will push it forward. So it will build it from. This corner is the first block placed, it gets pressed up by this one, pressed up by this one, shifted over. This one, this one, this one, pressed over. This one, this one, this one, pressed over. So that's just basically the quick concept of how this works. Let's uh, remove these just so it doesn't get in the way of our printer. Even though it's just pushing nicely over. So how this works is on our clock here, it runs along. It will enable a row, which a torch will represent... I believe is glass. I am, could be wrong. I haven't touched this in a while, so I'm not exactly remembering. These go through. Control these three control lines. Oop, oop. There we go. Control these three control lines, which go either direction, and depending on what, and every clock it will enable both of these, and some will be powered, some won't, depending on these torches. Like this torch is here, it goes up, it will be. Uh, it will be unpowering the center line, so these two outer lines will be powered, which means the signal, oop, oop, yeah, they have a maze to navigate, will be going this way, so when these turn off to allow it through, this one will be off, which will power the center piston on this, on the glass side. So this line's off, line, this turns that repeater off, turns this torch on, presses a glass in. On the other side, there is just a simple inverter in the way, so the exact opposite of what occurs on that side occurs on this side, pressing wool into the opposite two spa outer two spaces. The rest is just a bunch of timing. So over here on the so side of these uh, control lines here, which can have, uh, they have built-in mono stables just to pulse them, right, so you don't have to deal too much with the clock. And every third one, we have an extra torch here, which sends lined up, timed right to go after this block is pushed up to push all th the 3x3 three three over one. That's just a simple uh, piston wall. And our cl we have our clock which basically just goes that, back, back, for goes back and forth toggling each of these in sequence at just the right timing so this thing can work about uh, I think at I ideal speed. We have our repeaters all timed. A little bit of timing in here. I won't be able to do a build on this, so if you, you're interested in building one, you might you can try. You should be able to build it from this uh, video. Should be pretty clear how these are all getting wired in. We take our two, two wide space and compress it to one wide space for the pistons. Each of these lines is simply that, and down here is just a forward bus with repeaters coming this way into the clocks and our mono stables are on a I guess it still works it should be a four tick pulse approximately it's not the fastest 3d printer I'm sure you're, you might be able to time this and make it even faster but right now we you can see we have loaded up like a checker 3d checkerboard type pattern right now so this is the first row or the top right that'll be this top corner that row that row that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, as you lay it down. So you can design whatever you want. So without further ado, let's uh, print this. So we can hit our print button. And you see it quickly gets to work. From the first wall, and the second wall coming up now, pressed over, third wall. And there is our print. Not too shabby. You can either match this is a two-tone, or you can imagine taking out the glass to make this like a solid object. As you see, we use our sand up, and every time you print, you have to refill your machine because otherwise, there's not much of a buffer here. And I have chat off, so let me go fix that so I can uh, reset that. Multiplayer chat commands only. 
slash slash set glass and we'll reset the side with pool and we'll do a quick print of something else so you can learn how to set this. So we will clear off our old build here and let's build a C. Um, we will build it just in the center row. Actually we'll build a C and an A. A C and an H. Yeah. So the first one will be a C and the next one will be an H. So let's take all our torches out and we'll see how well we can do. I'm not I should have probably looked up which color was which, so let's say let's let's figure this out ourselves. So this line gets powered. We'll say this one's getting powered, so oop, get turned around with our glitchy mouse. Unpowered. Powered. So if the line is powered, that means glass, it seems. Because that line will come powered. This torch will be unpowered. This torch will get powered by that. And so that keeps the piston not extended. So a torch means glass. So we'll have to we'll remember that as we go through. And grab our torch. And apparently chat command only doesn't work. So ignore whatever they're doing. Okay, so we want to build a C to start. So we want the top row all wool. Then the second row will be. I want it hollow on the far this side, these two, and solid again. That should give us a C. Now, next row we want all three. We want empty, and then now this one we want wool, but we don't want wool in the center. This one we you want wool on all three, and we don't want wool in the center here. So that should give us our C and then an H after it. So now we will try running this. Hope this works. Yeah, there it goes. Oops. There it okay, we forgot to set the center to glass stone. So we do have our C on this side, solid wall, and we have our H. So a bit of a derp in programming. I forgot we needed torches for glass, but we just clear out our, this fluff. And we're left with our C, H for chartreuse. Hope you enjoyed, guys. And just a little. This video is just a little tr treat to show you this, and a bit of a treat for those who still have a full screen monitor, 4x3. So enjoy the 720p high def, but in full screen, not widescreen. <laughs> uh, worth a shot. I don't think anyone's going to enjoy it much, but eh, I like doing it. Anyway, this has been Chartreuse K. Have a nice day, and this has been my little 3D printer. <laughs> Enjoy.